Welcome to our channel. My name is Kelsey. So I'll jump right into today's video. This video is probably one of the most requested videos I've had in a while and it's honestly long past due. I should have made this video a while ago but every time that I would try and sit down to film it or think about filming it I just didn't feel ready yet to make it, um, but now I do and I just want to talk today about my journey on Seven Year Switch and just kind of like my journey in general um, over the past year and a half. I've had a lot go on in my life and I have people like write me all the time like about my personal life and I haven't answered really anyone's questions until now. So I hope you guys enjoy seeing this video and I just hope it gives you like a new perspective maybe for who I am and maybe gives you a little bit of insight into my life. All right, so let's get into it. I have a lot to say. My mind is seriously like scattered brain. I could say so many things. I like. I could sit here for like hours and talk to you about everything, but I'll try and keep it short and sweet as best as possible, um, but still answering some questions I've got. I'm kind of nervous, but then like really excited to share this with you guys. Um, I don't know why I'm nervous. I think it's just because I stayed quiet for so long um, that now like I'm finally talking out about it. So all that being said. I'm going to stop rambling and just get into what I'm going to say. So first, where do I even begin? Um, if you don't know, I was on a reality TV show called Seven Year Switch and if you don't know what that is, it's a show where you switch spouses uh, for two weeks and you go to LA and live with an experimental spouse. I know it sounds crazy because it is crazy, but it was just like an opportunity that arose for me and James and we kind of jumped at it and at that time in our lives we were just like going through some hard things and we thought this would be a fun thing to try and like a big adventure to go on. Long story short, um, we had an audition um, with them and they called us back and then like two weeks later we were you know thrown into this crazy experiment and um, I got switched with a guy named Dustin um, if you did watch the show you know that name very well because he was definitely um, not the greatest guy you've ever met um, to put that nicely but I like you guys like I want to say so much, like I really do, I wish I could tell you everything, like the ins and outs, um, but just for respect of the show, for Dustin, just for everyone involved, um, I'll keep it more simple. Um, I am under contract still, so I can't really say anything like too in depth, but I can share like my side, my journey, my experience and all that stuff. So if I don't touch on um, a lot of like the production or like Dustin a lot, that's just because just for out of respect for them. I just want to like put this out there as like a disclaimer is I'm sure if you have watched the show like you formed an opinion probably of me and that's totally understandable um, I know I have a lot of haters haters is that a thing I have a lot of enemies and I know like people view me a lot differently um, and I totally understand that um, 
but I just wanted to throw out like a disclaimer is like I take full responsibility for like my actions and like what I said and all of that so I don't want to put blame on anyone like I don't want to put blame on Dustin on production like nothing like that I take full responsibility for like how I was however I do feel like I did get a really terrible edit um, and I don't feel like I would was really understood in the show at all. I feel really, really misunderstood. And um, partially that's my fault um, for not taking the experiment seriously. Um, to be honest, when I went on the show, I wasn't taking it seriously. I thought it was like a big joke, um, which now looking back, I really wish I hadn't have done because it really, really, really had a negative impact on me and like people's view of myself, um, just a, a lot of things. And if you know me, I'm a really happy-go-lucky, I'm really bubbly, and it comes off not great a lot of times. And I've learned um, a lot over the past year and a half um, of like my actions and just like thinking before I speak and just being really mindful of like talking to other men or talking to really anyone, just being really mindful of how I'm communicating with people. And um, I've definitely learned that like I come off really flirty and even if my intentions are good or pure, um, you know, it's not okay to like flirt or be, you know, like too outgoing with other men, especially, especially if you're married or like in a relationship with someone and looking back um, on the show, like I definitely see like my actions and how it came across like really flirty and I totally apologize for like coming off like that. Um, that's not who I am and I think that's the hardest part about the whole experience was like I didn't feel like they captured at all of like who I am as a person. Um, I just felt really, like I said, misunderstood. I don't know, I just feel like I was in a really, really different place in my life and I just didn't care and I think a big part of it was um, I didn't want to truly be vulnerable to people in the world and so I just decided to act like I didn't care. Um, but that's absolutely not the case. Like. I, and that's the hardest thing is like people saw like this five to ten minute clips of me on a show that was aired once a week for eight weeks but um, I wish people were more mindful of the fact that I was with someone, Dustin, uh, for two weeks and we filmed all day every day for that full two weeks and there was so much footage that obviously like you can't um, put you know like 10 hours into a 10 minute segment that you get on a show. I'm fully aware that I look horrible like I I'm sure like I hate myself for like how it was portrayed like I I'm really disappointed obviously in myself and I've come a long way obviously like throughout the past year of like coming to terms with you know um, what people think of me and like being okay with that because I know who I am like I'm not going to let like the opinions of other people affect me. I hope this is making sense. I feel like I'm like going off in different tangents and it's kind of like all very very scattered brain so I apologize. <laughs> but it's kind of hard to like condense this into like a 15 minute video um so of course if you like have any questions that i haven't answered or things that you're like dying to know about um you can like message me on instagram or on youtube on the comment section just write me a comment and i'll do my best to answer you as best as i can so obviously like if you have watched the show you know i was paired with dustin which unfortunately did not turn out great. He has a lot to handle in my opinion. Um, he's very egotistical, like he just 
he's just, I, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how to describe him. <laughs> I'm trying to be like as nice as possible, but like, we just didn't get along. Um, I wish that you guys would have seen us like the whole time we were there. Um, I think it would have been a lot more helpful, <laughs> at least just seeing like our interactions and seeing how we were together. Um, I definitely do think that I was way too flirty with him. I fully know that. Um, but I just want to say, and I hope this isn't like crossing any like lines, but I just want to say that people like have slut shamed me and said I'm like the worst like whore and all these horrible, horrible things um, about me. And I just wanted to like say that Yes, it may have looked a certain way on television, like on these edited clips of like out of context things that I had said, but I can promise you that we never slept in the same bed. He was actually really respectful in that way. Like when we got there, he gave me the bedroom. He was like, no, you take it. I'll take the couch. Not a problem. So in that way, in that way he was respectful and we never were in the same bedroom together and I know that's how it appeared on TV which is unfortunate yeah I just wanted to say that because I know like a lot of people thought that was the case um, and I do want to touch on like um, my meeting with Jacqueline because I know people have wrote me about that I can't say like details of like how it was filmed and all that stuff I have nothing bad at all to say about Jacqueline. I just want to get that out there because um, when I went to go meet her on the show, I was actually excited to meet her. Like I had no bad blood like with her. Um, I was like completely like fine. She already didn't like me. Like as soon as I sat down, like she didn't even give me like room to like talk or like explain myself. So I like felt very on the defensive when I sat down with her. You see like a very, very short time of our meeting together. And um, in our meeting, like I had kept telling her over and over like the things that I had seen about Dustin that were huge red flags. Like, I think in a relationship, I feel like he's just really disrespectful. Like the things that he would say about Jacqueline to me, like just there were so many things like in my mind i was thinking well like as a woman i would want to know this about my spouse and so i told her like you know he doesn't love you like he like all of these things because they were things that i had seen that had that dustin had been like portraying like throughout the week in my opinion and this is just my opinion that like she was not being treated good and so i kept telling her this over and over um for a while and she was in a lot of denial she kept like denying everything she's like no 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 like he loves me like all of these things and so I was just getting frustrated. She was just really, really, really on the defensive as well. So we were just like butting heads like really bad. We were not getting along. Um, and it's not that I didn't like her or it, it just we were not like seeing eye to eye. And of course, when like you are talking about like somebody else's relationship to someone you barely know like there's gonna be like this wall up of like you don't know me you don't know our relationship so I was fully aware like of all of these things but I was just getting frustrated and she was saying like really rude and like hurtful things to me as well um, so it just didn't end well it was just an unfortunate meeting it's not that like I didn't like her and I do feel really bad. I reached out to her after the show and like apologized because I had seen a clip of myself like saying that um, I think like I didn't think she was pretty or something like that and I felt so bad like after I heard that like come out of my mouth I was like Kelsey like that's not you like I don't know what was going on I think it was just I don't know maybe I liked the attention or like I was really overwhelmed and I would just like say things that I didn't mean and I think that's what happened but looking back now I'm like Kelsey that's not you like 
you don't talk to people like that, especially like women. Like I'm all about women empowerment and like loving yourself. And so when I heard myself say that, I was like really disappointed in myself. And um, I totally reached out to her to apologize. And um, I hope she feels like it was sincere. Like, of course, I didn't hear back from her, but I just didn't want her to feel like, I don't know, that I was this like nasty girl trying to like come at her, or, like take her man or anything like that. Cause that was not the case. Like I didn't want Dustin like in a million years, if he was the last person on earth, like that's really harsh, but we just like, we're so different. So I just wanted to like, throw that out there and like touch on that because I know like people thought I was really a mean girl and that I don't have any respect for anyone. Like it's not like I want to defend myself because like I said like I've totally come to terms with like who I am and like I believe I'm a good person and so I don't feel like I need to like defend myself but I just want to say like that's not who I am like I feel really bad for like the things I said, like some actions I did and it's funny how like you look back on a time in your life and you're like, hmm, <laughs> didn't do that one right, you know? And I know I made mistakes and I know that um, I definitely like hurt some people's feelings and um, I was really disappointed in myself. I went through a really, really hard time, like, coming to terms with the fact that, like, I wasn't, I guess, like, who I thought I was, um, at least at that time, and I just was really disappointed, like, on how I was portrayed. And I had, like, a good experience. Um, when I was going through the experience, like, I had a great time, like it's not like I hated it and wanted to come home. Um, I did have a good time. I wish I was paired with somebody else um, because I feel like I did not get any, any insight into my marriage. I feel like I didn't get any help in my marriage um, besides like Dr. Jessica. She is like my favorite person in the world. She is a godsend. Like. I love her. Um, she like always reaches out to me and like encourages me and so she's just a really special person. So me and Dr. Jessica like really connected um, but other than that like um, from Dustin's like side like he did not help me in any way. Um, I actually feel like he hindered me a lot in the experiment. Um, he did not take it seriously at all, so with two people going into it thinking like it was a big joke, it just was a disaster. Obviously, like you can tell. Every time I would try and bring up James um, with Dustin, he would get really like defensive and mean and be like, why are we talking about this? Like, you can like get your help on your own, it's your marriage, like I can't help you. Um, but the whole point of the experiment was to like help each other to understand our spouses better and so it, yeah, it was just really, really frustrating. Um, being paired with someone like that, I didn't think that's the experiment I was going to get, um, but it was and looking back um, now, I've learned so much from it and I've been able to like take certain things from it and grow as a person and so ultimately I think that's what matters is that even though like it was a negative partnership, um, I was able to learn a lot about myself and just the person I want to be in life in general. Um, I loved seeing like the other couples on the show like Heather if you're watching this at all like I would be your best friend in a heartbeat I think she's an amazing person and um, we've connected a little bit like through social media and she's just she's just a beautiful person um, so yeah I loved like seeing the other couples and I was super bummed out because I would have loved to be paired with Tony like I thought he was the coolest guy ever he's just like a huge teddy bear, like super down to earth. He just seemed like a really cool guy. Um, I would have loved to be paired with him because I thought our personalities would have clicked and I just think he could have helped me a lot better um, with my marriage and to go home and like have actually learned some beneficial things and just there's, there's so many things I could say, but I really wish I was paired with him. All of them were awesome, like Lilia, she's 
amazing. She's an awesome woman. They were all really, really cool. And I'm like bummed that I wasn't paired with like one of their guys because they were really awesome. I don't regret it. Like I would do it again in a heartbeat. Like I honestly wish I could do it again, be paired with somebody different. And I think um, if I were to do it now, I would have an entirely different experience um, just because I feel like I've matured and grown a lot as a woman and all of these things. So I really wish I could do it again. So if you have any more questions about the show itself, then definitely feel free to write me. You can ask me whatever you want. Um, but there are a few more things like I wanted to touch on in this video that I've gotten a lot of questions about. And um, if you haven't noticed, like I stayed very, very quiet. I don't think I responded to anyone when the whole show was airing. Um, I don't know if anyone noticed, but I was off social media for about eight months. I was like cold turkey. Um, I was actually going through a very, 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 very hard time in my life. Um, I was very depressed. I was just going through so much like anxiety, like depression just suicidal thoughts, like just so much. And I'll touch on like why and what I was going through in just a little bit. But I just wanted to say that um, this show aired in January and I was going through the hardest time of my life in January. And so it was just a crazy time for it to air because I could barely get out of bed in the morning. Like I was struggling a lot and nobody knew like nobody knew that I was going through a hard time James and I agreed not to watch the show when it was being aired so I didn't watch it um, but I would um, after it was aired every Tuesday night I would go on social media to like see like you know I was just curious like what are people saying like and and mind you I had no idea that I was going to be portrayed in such a like negative light um, I knew, obviously, I had said some things that I wasn't proud of and, like, I, I had done some things, but I had no idea, like, to the extent it was going to come off as that I was, like, this horrible wife that was, like, all of these things, like, just horrible things, and I, I didn't expect it to be that way, um, but now looking back, I'm like, well, duh, like, I didn't take it seriously, like, I was just very goofy and, like, silly, and I wasn't, like, really focused, and, um, yeah, so that's definitely a regret of mine of, like, not taking it seriously. That's my biggest regret of the whole experience. It's, like, I wish I would have gone into it just being more intentional with my marriage, with, um, my experimental spouse just being more intentional about like trying to learn as much as possible and taking every single bit of it seriously um, and it's hard because I you know I had an audition and of course like I had mentioned like I, I'm a fun person like I want adventure and I want to have a good time but like there are like a hundred more things to me than just that like I have more depth than just wanting to have fun and so like that's how it was portrayed on TV is that like oh like I'm just like this fun dumb girl that like wants a guy that's like a bad boy but that's not the case. Like, I love the Lord so much. I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I have a lot more than that. Like, I, of course, I love to have fun. I love to be adventurous. But I don't want a guy that's like, you know, a jerk, like egotistical, like a bad, quote unquote, bad boy, like who's mad at the world. Like, I, I don't know. I just felt like they didn't get it. Like, no, like that's not who I wanted to be paired with, but obviously it's a television show, there has to be drama, they have to make it interesting, I'm fully aware of that. Um, so I knew that obviously like there were going to be some twists and turns. I didn't think to the extent that it was. Um, so that was hard. Um, every time I would go on social media and see like just like people like Oh my goodness, people shocked me um, during that time, like when I would read social media. Um, I got the nastiest like messages and just horrible, horrible people like saying, 
that I was a whore, a slut, like a homewrecker, that I should kill myself, like awful things. People like would write me and tell me like how fat I was or how ugly I was and you know like all of these things just started to like play in my mind like every time I'd go to bed and it'd be like I don't know like in a way like partnering with these things like that were people that people were saying about me it was like it was just becoming too overwhelming for me it was a crazy time in my life because I at that time like people had no idea like what I was going through um and so like that was like the hardest part is like if they only knew like what they were typing and sending to someone how like it would affect them so much and like I think this makes me super emotional because if people only knew like how impactful their words are and like I think that's the biggest lesson I learned out of the whole experience was like being very very mindful of your words and understanding how powerful your words are and how much they can affect someone. Think before you talk or type or send something to someone because you have no idea what they're going through or struggling with. Like for all you know they could be like wanting to commit suicide like you have no idea so that's like my biggest advice like if you can get anything out of this video it would be this please please be kind to people please think before you like speak I'm glad I went through what I did and got to get the like brunt of like all that social media like hate and anger because it gave me so much more compassion for people um, just like in everyday life like even in my job like when people reach out to me or call me people that you talk to every day that are angry or say mean things like it's not an indication of like yourself it's an indication of something that's going on in their heart or their their life I don't know I don't want to like go and preach and like go on a rant but like that's the biggest thing I've learned is just like thinking before you speak and like just being kind to everyone because you have no idea I don't know how I made it through that time in my life like I was like in a really dark place and I don't no, I do know how I made it out of that place because I totally believe that God like rescued me and like totally saved me from such like a broken like deep place. So you're probably wondering like why I was in such a heartbroken, devastated place in my life. Um, so I will touch on that now. Um, obviously the biggest question I've got like I get it every week I think um, if James and I are still together so this has been a question that I obviously get a ton and a question that I've been putting off and putting off and haven't answered for many many different reasons um, for a long time it was just for privacy I just was you know obviously dealing with a lot of depression a lot of sadness and all of these things so I just was like I can't deal with this right now and a big reason of why I wanted to make this video was because I had someone write me a direct message that really really got under my skin and that doesn't happen a lot like generally like I can just brush things off and be okay with it this person wrote me this message that said basically this um, why are you portraying a happy life on Instagram? Like, why can't you be real and tell us what's really going on? And it really got under my skin because I was like, first of all, first of all, I'm not portraying a happy life in any way. And if you've ever felt that, I really do apologize. I try my absolute best to be real and honest on social media. And that's why for those eight to nine months that I was off social media, I was off it for a reason. Like I didn't want to be fake. I didn't want to like post things and be like positive and happy because I was broken. I was depressed. Like I needed time off of social media, like to focus on my health, to focus on myself. Like I had a lot to work on internally as a person and I didn't feel like I could do that um, while still posting on Instagram. So that's why I went off of Instagram for those eight to nine months because I just didn't want to be that girl that like was not coming across genuine. I had worked so hard on not doing that and I feel like I've been pretty vulnerable and open 
with people, especially within the past few months of like my a little bit of my journey. Um, obviously, I haven't gone into detail yet, but um, I feel like I've been like inching towards it and like becoming stronger and like more confident in my story. And um, yeah, so it got under my skin, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to make a video finally because I need to like get this out there and get it off my chest and like just tell you like my journey, like my story, like I am very proud of where I'm at. I'm very proud of myself of like overcoming so much and like I'm just proud of my story and I'm not ashamed of it in any way. And who knows, I might like make another video talking more in depth about whatever it is you want to know. Like maybe I'll just do one video of like a question and answer because um, I know like I have so much to say and um, a lot I want to talk about that I obviously can't get in. So definitely write me down below if you're interested in that. So a little bit over a year ago now, James and I broke up and um, we went our separate ways and it was devastating obviously. We had been married for a little over three years and we had gone through a lot in our short amount of time being married, more than I think most newly married couples do. Um, we did have a really difficult relationship. Um, I love James. I love who he is. It was nothing about that. Um, we just had a lot of disagreements. Um, we didn't see eye to eye a lot on many things. Um, we were kind of just drifting apart. We weren't connecting. Like there were, there were many, many things. Without going into too much detail, just to like keep our marriage sacred and private, um, we just had like a hard marriage. Once we got back from the show, I, we were fine. Like nothing was wrong. Like we were in a good place. Like things were great between us. Like, you know, nothing was going wrong. Um, and so I just want to put it out there like the show had nothing to do with like the reason why we broke up like it wasn't that at all um, but as time went on like, things just started to kind of go south and we just started disconnecting so we broke up and then I found out I was pregnant and it was so so difficult. I can't explain it. Um, I don't think you'll ever understand unless you go through something like this is like when you break up with someone obviously like that's hard in itself. Um, you know especially in marriage I feel like there's such a strong strong connection. It was extremely devastating. It was really hurtful. Um, and then I found out I was pregnant and it just felt like the whole entire world was collapsing on my shoulders. Like I just was so overwhelmed. Like I couldn't deal with it. It was like, God, like I, I don't know what to do. Like I cannot do this on my own. Like I do not want to be a single mom. Like I don't want to go through this alone. Like there were so many things. At that time, like I was in a really like bad, dark place. Um, like crazy thoughts had come into my head, things that I had never thought of before, um, specifically on the topic of abortion. Like, I just want to preface, like, I grew up in a really, really amazing Christian home, like, loved God my whole life. Like, I had never really thought about abortion. Like, I had always been against it. Like, when people would talk about it, um, you know, I was always against it. You never know what you're going to do. Um, in a situation until you're in it. You know, I'd never thought about abortion, but like I couldn't, I, I could not come to terms with having a baby on my own as a single mom, like not getting to experience like the happy times like with a partner. And it was just really hard for me to grasp. Um, and like I totally agreed like in my head all these crazy thoughts like you don't want this baby like this baby doesn't matter like it's fine like get rid of it like your problems will be solved if you get rid of it all of these things um, and long story short I will make another video about this someday um, just for other women out there that have gone through this or have struggled with this I ended up going to um, an abortion clinic and 
long story short, like, God totally met me there. People will think I'm crazy, but I totally believe that God spoke to me through the Planned Parenthood um, lady there. We were getting ready to do the abortion, and she looked at me with, like, the kindest eyes and just was like, you know, you don't have to do this. She's like, I just don't feel comfortable doing this with you today. She's like, I want you to go home and think about it for a week. Um, and in my mind at the time, I was like, no, like I'm doing this. Like, I cannot do this. I'm not doing this alone. Like, please, please, please. Um, but anyway, she's like, no, I don't feel comfortable doing it. Um, she's like, I feel like you're going to regret it. And like, Planned Parenthood people don't say this. <laughs> like, I feel like that's very frowned upon. Um, but yeah, so she told me that, and so I ended up going home, and it's a really long story, but like, for that next whole week, like, I was like having horrible anxiety and panic attacks. Like, I would wake up in the middle of the night with like drenched in sweat, like crying. Like, I was, I was a mess. And might I add that nobody knew that I was going through this. Like, nobody knew I was pregnant. Like, not even my mom, not my dad. Like, I was going through this completely alone. And, um, anyways, like, I really feel like God told me, like, to trust Him. And He had a plan. And I was like, okay, like, I'm just going to trust you. Like, I have no idea what my future holds, but I trust you that you're a good God and that you're going to come through for me. I had no idea at the time, like, how it would all unfold and how it would work. But I just was like, okay, like, I'm just going to try and trust for the first time in my life, like, fully into someone. And that's exactly what I did. And... Um, those following days, like, were so hard. Me and James were not together the whole entire pregnancy. Um, I would never wish my pregnancy on anyone. Um, it was, it was devastating for me. Like, I would wake up every day and just cry, like, the whole day. Like, it was just, it was a mess. Um, you know, obviously, like, I had to tell my parents that James and I were not together and that I was pregnant and, they totally came in, supported me, they were amazing, and I really don't think I would have gotten through it if it wasn't for them, so I'm so appreciative to them, but um, going through everything I did, um, obviously was really hard, but like I truly believe like I needed to go through that season because I really did come into who I am, I learned like to be strong, I learned to be like compassionate, I learned like, I don't know, I learned so many things about myself during that time, like being alone. I was a recluse, guys, like I didn't go out in public, nobody knew I was pregnant the whole time, like nine months. <laughs> like the only people that knew I was pregnant was um, James, my mom, my dad, like and my like closest best friends. Like very few people knew I was pregnant. And me and James had always wanted kids, and it was just, it was really, really heartbreaking um, for me because I didn't feel like I could be excited um, because I was just so trapped in fear. Like, I was so scared for my future. I was so scared for, like, what was ahead. Like, I thought my life was over, that I would never be happy again. Um, just so many, so many, like, lies that I kept telling myself. I'm not gonna lie, like, I don't recommend that, like, going through something like that alone, but I feel like there's a lot of beauty that can come out of that, um, as long as you have the right mindset, and, um, I truly believe I stumbled upon, like, my strength during that time, because, um, God just, like, fully embraced me and met me in that place, I don't know why I did not deserve it, um, but he he did. Like his grace was just a beautiful thing on my life in that season, and I feel like he carried me through. And um, long story short, I'm going like I'm like rambling again, but I I want to explain more in detail um, in another video just of like what happened and my birth story was just like a miracle. Um, so many things, but. You guys don't care about that. <laughs> All you care about is James and I together. 
So, long story short, like, it's an absolute miracle. My past year and a half has been, like, a beautiful, beautiful miracle. Um, and yes, James and I are together. We are back together. Um, we actually just got back together not too long ago, back in, I think it was, like, September. Um, so it's, like, a full circle moment for me, um, well, for James and I, because last this time last year, we were going through the most devastating times of our lives and to see us now a year later like I've never been happier like I am so so grateful I'm so thankful that like I pushed through and like trusted God that he had everything under control because if I hadn't like Kenzie wouldn't be here like who knows where my life would be right now like if I hadn't have just like said yes in trusting my journey. We are so happy together. Like God has fully transformed us. I'm just really excited to like be sharing this finally because we've kept our personal lives really private for a long time. Um, so it's exciting for me to like finally say it like we're together, like we're married, like there it's just it's just really beautiful for me to see really really amazing exciting news we just bought our first place together and we just moved in last week and that in itself is a miracle so i'll have to explain that later like god just like fully came through and i'm sorry i'm like being like crazy and like throwing god out there a lot but, like if you're struggling in your life or going through a hard time like that is the answer for you if you just decide to like trust and believe that like you're gonna be okay and I think that was a big part of it is just like being like okay God no matter what happens whether we get back together or we don't like I know you're good and I know you're gonna come through for me because you love me and so like when you come to terms with that I think in your life like you just I know you just you just feel more confident in life I feel like a big thing too that I learned, probably one of the biggest things I learned in that whole season um, was just like coming into who I am like as a woman and I just learned um, especially with social media and like seeing all that hate that I went through and people like forming their opinions and feeling like people hated me after the show I was able to um, find myself in like a new way and honestly like love myself again because I feel like for so long I had always like cared a lot what people thought about me but now I'm like no like I think good of myself so like once you believe that you're beautiful and you're loved and you're worthy like everything will change like, once you love yourself like you don't care what other people think of you and like that's where I'm at and like that's the place I've come to it's like a full circle moment I wish you guys would have seen me back then like it was it was a mess it was a hot mess it was a disaster I'm just very passionate about loving yourself and like fully being confident in who God made you and just trusting like in your journey in your story and like just trusting that everything's gonna work out and everything will be okay even if it looks really 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 bad <laughs> like my story looked really really dark like there was no hope <laughs> like none and um I think that's the beautiful thing of like the transformation like being being where I'm at now and being able to look back then and being like wow like wow anything can happen like your future is never over so I'm very passionate about um, depression and anxiety and like suicide because I've been in those places and I know if you just try and stay positive I know it's so hard and like almost feels impossible um, when you're going through something so deep and um, heartbreaking and like it feels like there's not ever a light at the end of the tunnel I can promise you I am a living testimony of the fact that like your breakthrough is coming like you're gonna be okay so don't give up please don't give up like if you just keep pressing on and believing that everything's gonna work out you're gonna be okay so, um, yeah, that was kind of like a long tangent. So I hope that didn't come off like really preachy and crazy. I feel like I'm forgetting like a ton of things that I'm supposed to talk about. So please remind me in the comment section and 
I will make another video like if you want but um, I really just wanted to touch on like where I'm at in life now and kind of like my journey and just how hard it was and how I've come out of it so much better I've become a better person and I feel like a more mature person a more compassionate person I feel like that's a really beautiful thing about people is that we all make mistakes we all go through things that we regret and I feel like if we can each recognize like areas that we've messed up in or you know failed in and grow from it and not like tear yourself down about it like that's really important I know everyone has a story has mistakes has regrets and so as long as you can learn and grow from those mistakes then that's all that you can ask for in someone like to just learn you live and you learn like that's a huge thing and so I can like recognize like the mistakes that I've made like even in the show or things that I've said I recognize that but I'm not going to live there in the past and like beat myself up over like mistakes that I've made I'm moving forward as a better a more mature person my camera is about to die and I don't have a replacement battery so I'm gonna say goodbye for now um, but definitely write me. I just wanted to mention that season three of Seven Year Switch is casting now and I highly recommend the experience. It's a great experience. If you want to reach out to me, definitely DM me or leave me a comment. I'll give you as much information as I can about um, just the process and what you're going to go through. So I am definitely a great person to talk to. So um, I'll make sure to leave all of the information in the description box. Make sure you check that um, down below for any more information regarding 7 Year Switch. And hopefully I'll see one of you guys with your husband on the show. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you for all your support and watching and subscribing. It means so much to me and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.